Hey guys, Soldier Girl. This is um, going to be another uh, course of video, pretty much like a follow up video of my last one. Um, and so, in that video, I kind of got a little bit of both um, as far as positive, a little bit of negative, which I normally do. It's totally like normal. I'm used to that. Um, at the same time, course of training is not for everybody. If it's a subject or a topic that you definitely do not agree with, then definitely don't watch the video. Otherwise, you're wasting however minutes of your life that you will never, ever, ever get back. And so, um, but for those of you who um, who are interested in course of training, um, that's what these videos are for. Um, for those of you who have um, any type of questions, you can ask me whatever you want. Um, I always suggest Lucy Corsetry because she is just absolutely amazing. Um, I'll leave a link to her channel in the description box for you. But in this video, I kind of want to go over a few of the questions that I got from my last video. Um, so someone asked me, um, how long can I wear it closed? Pretty much, I just think it depends on the day. Sometimes I have to loosen it a little bit. Like right now, it's not completely closed. I have about a two inch gap in the back. Um, and so it just depends on how busy my day is. If I'm out couponing, you guys know my coupon, if I'm out couponing, um, or I have a really busy day, then I may not necessarily want to wear it completely closed. Um, I find it easier to wear closed when I am home all day, um, if I'm sleeping. So normally before I go to bed, after my food from um, dinner kind of settles, I will tend to, to start to close it a little bit. And then I'll wear it like that for a little bit and then I'll close it completely. So when I'm sleeping, I try to wear it closed because it's easiest for me because I'm not moving around. Um, the other question was, how does this affect my organs? It doesn't affect my organs. A, lot, a few of you guys were concerned with my organs. My organs are fine. I have never, ever had one single issue with my organs. Um, and so, and I have had two kids. So, of course, the training, yeah, pregnancy kind of similar very similar with the reorganizing of your organs have you and so everything is fine with the organs um someone asked me what was dr oz's advice when i went on his show he is a doctor you guys he is not going to condone corset training he offered other alternatives um less aggressive measures he honestly suggested wearing like nylon stocking holes like i was just like really oz really really Oz and so but I think his his angle he really wanted me to be able to say okay yeah I try I'll, I'll, you know what I'll try something less aggressive or something less um, yeah something less aggressive um, but again you do what works for you and so um, and this is again something I've been doing for the last four years and it's something that has worked for me okay and so I'm gonna just go through the questions on this particular video in this video I will take the corset off I probably should have taken it off in that particular video but really I really didn't plan on taking it off and I didn't want to take it off and have to lace it back up but I'm going to take this one off I need to do I'm gonna do a really quick routine um, do some weights real quick while he's sleep and so I figured I would just go ahead and do a quick video for you guys um, take the corset off and show you guys what my belly looks like because I think stereotypically a lot of times we tend to think that um, that you know when you see someone with a corset on you assume that when they take it off they look the exact same and there are definitely situations um, when it doesn't and so when I was researching corset training that's what I assumed because not a lot of women would take their corsets off and, it's, and I think out of curiosity I would want to see what they look like underneath the corset. So I try to make a habit out of doing belly shots, you know, so that you guys can see what my um, my stomach look like. And so I'm just going to go really quick to this video really quick and see um, what other questions that, that you guys had for me. Um, breathing. When I first started corset training, I did breathe shallow. Like you don't breathe very deep. And that's just because it's not that you can't, but because of the lack of your lungs having the full capacity it forces you to kind of not breathe as deep but now um, because I've been doing it for so long I have no difference in my um, my breathing pattern is pretty much normal like you wouldn't think I had a corset on right now based on how I, I speak um, or how I'm breathing right now but when I first started I did hey guys, girl, this is okay 
I'm sorry about that. So let me go through the comments really, really fast. Um, what else? Um, someone asked about um, breastfeeding or taking care of my little one while I have my corset on. Um, the only issue, like I said before, is when I have to go up and down the stairs with my corset on and holding him. And that's a challenge for me. Um, if I'm completely uh, close in the back, driving can be a bit of a challenge. Um, but other than that, taking care of him, it doesn't affect um, me. Course of training doesn't affect me taking care of my kid, my child, rather. Um, let's see, what else? Um, but this video, I did get a lot of support. I normally get a lot of support, and I do get those who are... Um, it's not good for your organs, it's not healthy, and I, I get it, I completely get it, it's, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, and um, at the same time, if it's a topic, a subject that you're not really interested in, or you don't, you think it's taboo, or you think it's wrong, or unhealthy, then you just should not watch the video, but I assure you, some of you that watch that video and thumbs it down, or, you know, said, oh, it's bad for this, or that's not healthy, you'll watch this one too. Which is perfectly fine with me, because a few is a few, is a few. Um, what else? Oh, someone asked me, what size did I start at? Oh my gosh, you guys. I started corset training, I was about a 32 and a half inch waist. And I started off, my first corset was a 26 inch corset. And um, it didn't take me long to close that one, because when I'm on my fitness grind, I really hit my, my goals real quick. And so... I only had that corset maybe three or three weeks at the most before I outgrew it and then I decided to get um, and I was debating between a 24 inch or a 22 inch and um, although it's only the two inch difference I didn't want to you know go out and get a 24 inch corset which is only a two inch um, difference between my first one which was a 26 I didn't want to pay all this money for just a two inch reduction so I went ahead and went with a 22 inch um, corset um, the smallest I have is the 22. I did have a couple 20s that I have since sold. Um, and so, but yeah, I did start at a 32 inch, 32 and a half inch corset. And now I'm down to my 22 inch corset. Um, someone also asked me, uh, do I wear a liner under my corset? I usually wear these, these like tube top blouses just because they seem really easy to just slip under there. Hey, Book of Bear. Um, I wear t-shirts. You can wear whatever you want, really, as long as it's comfortable. It, for me, it depends on what kind of top I'm wearing for the day. Um, there's times I haven't worn anything under. It just really depends on what I'm wearing for the day. But let me show you. I'll give you a belly shot really, really quick. Because he just woke up. And I thought he was going to sleep a little bit longer. Okay, so right now, this is the um, this is a, a 22-inch corset in brocade. Um... I feel like I wear the pinstripes so much, but during the day I'm trying to wear my other corsets more during the day, and then when I take this one off, I'll do a, try to do a really quick workout, and then um, I'll put back on a different corset so that I'm giving my corsets breaks. Um, and so anyway, so again, this is not close in the back. I want to say it's measuring about 26 inches. Um, yeah, I'm measuring it. 26. I don't expect you guys to see this, but let's see if I can. So I'm measuring at 26. Is it in view? I don't think it is because my boobies are in the way. Okay, I hope you saw that. But I'm measuring 26 inches. Um, and again, two inch gap in the back. So when I close it, it's going to measure 24 um, inches on the outside of the corset. So let me take this off really, really quick. Okay, so when I lace up, once I tie it, I twist it and I just tuck it under my under the corset. All right, so, but yeah, I, I try to take my corset off every one and again to give people a chance to see what it looks like. And then when I'm taking it off, all I do is pull the strings out. I remember the first time I laced up, it took me forever to lace up. I was sweating like a freaking pig. Oh my gosh, I was so hot, I was sweating. It took me forever, it took me forever. But literally, I mean, the more you do it with anything, the more you do it, the better you get at it. 
and the easier it gets. So, okay, so you make sure that your laces are completely loose enough in the back before you unhook the front. And this is what the belly's looking like. Oh. Okay, so this is what we're looking like right now. Then I'm so itchy. When you first start corset training, God, it belly itches so much when you take your corset off. Whew. I'm not gonna lie and say that it's not tight. The corset is it's tight, but you get uh, you get used to it and you build up a tolerance to wear it longer and longer, where it doesn't it's not uncomfortable. Like with my pinstripe one, I've had that one longer. And so that one is like 110% broken in already. And so that one I can completely close. The brocade one, I cannot close that one all the way. And then I have this one here that I had on earlier. But I have, I have this one here I had on earlier. Um, I slept in this one. And this one is another brocade one in cherries. Um, and I, I can't close. The brocade ones, yeah, I can't close these right now. Um, and then I had a satin one on yesterday. And then this is the satin one. This is the one I took the, um, I took the, uh, what do you call it? The modesty panel off, which was a big mistake. You okay, Booba Bear? Yeah? Did you sleep okay? Yeah, okay. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of just, you know, just kind of do a little, you know, stick my head in, answer the questions from my last video, give you guys a, a nice little belly shot. I'm going to try to see if I can do, um, pull out my 15s and my 20s from under my bed. Try to do some arm exercises because my arms, you guys, like, oh, like I am losing a lot, I've lost a lot of my muscle tone in my arms. And that's because I'm not lifting at all right now. All I'm doing is strictly cardio. I'm just running. Um, today I ran with him. Huh? We went for a run this morning. We did. Uh, we only did two miles. Allergies were kicking me in the ass this morning too. Allergies are really, really bad because it's so windy up here right now. You okay? But um, but yeah, I'll leave it there. Um, as always, if you guys have any other questions, definitely feel free to um hit me up in the comment section. And I will see you guys all in the next update. Later, guys. Say bye. Why are you looking at me? Why are you looking at me? Say bye-bye. Say bye. All right, fine. Don't say bye. Mwah. Yeah. Hmm? Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> Later, guys. <laughs>